Good morning, everyone. Your rain chance is on the increase for your Tuesday. Let's take a look at what's happening. We have this frontal boundary to the north of us, and a lot of energy is traveling along and a lot of unsettled weather. So we are going to be unsettled today. We see some cloud cover, and we're also going to see some showers and thunder showers. As the late morning wears on, then they'll start to kick in and they'll last throughout the afternoon. Scattered throughout the viewing area, not everyone's going to see them at all times. It could rain for 10 minutes, 10 seconds but there will be a lot more rain in the picture today. Let's take a look at Futurecast, and you can see, yeah, we have a lot of activity in the Gulf. We see some heavier rain showers and thunderstorm activity, and that will be blown into our area with a northwesterly wind flow today. So, again, rain chance about 60%, and that rain chance will be up for the next uh, day or so. Let's take a look at temperatures this afternoon. The rain's going to keep it down once again, so 89 degrees for Sarasota, 89 in Venice and Englewood. That's where we're topping out this afternoon, 90 in Lakewood Ranch, 90 North Port, 91 in Port Charlotte, and 91 in Puerto Gorda, 88 in Boca Grande, 88 in Longboat Key. Your feels like temperature today, even though the numbers are mainly in the 80s, your feels like is still about 98 degrees. True View is painting in some clouds, yes, and some raindrops as well today. State temperatures also mainly in the 80s today. Let's take a look at how they fall into place. 87 for Pensacola, 82 in Tallahassee this afternoon, 88 down up the road in Tampa, I should say, 91 for Fort Myers, 89 Vero Beach, 89 Orlando, 89 in Miami as well, 90 in Key West this afternoon. Boaters, there are scattered showers and thunderstorms in the morning, throughout the afternoon and beyond, so be aware that they are on the Gulf today. Winds up the north, 5 to 10 knots. These will be 1 to 2 feet. There's a light shot and your water temperature is 89 degrees. UVA, though, is still a 10 plus. Taking a look at the tropics, we continue to look at this. This is about 350 miles east of the Leeward Islands this morning, and this is what we expect to become the next tropical depression. We've been expecting it to become Tropical Storm Erica. We still expect that to happen, although there is still no well-defined center at this point, although we're starting to see some rotation. So we're going to keep our eye on that for you. Now, keeping our eye on the national picture for you, we we have a high pressure, or high pressure is aloft in the west, so that's really affecting the southwest with some nice conditions, but we'll see some rain in the higher uh, terrain. We're also seeing some uh, uh, low pressure, or low humidity, I should say, and strong wind gusts, so that's affecting the California, Los Angeles area, so fire danger still high there today. In the Midwest, cold start in the morning, but generally a nice day throughout the afternoon. In the south, we're going to see some scattered showers and thunder showers along that frontal boundary as we've been watching for the past several days. And the northeast high pressure is ruling the day. So even though there's going to be a cool start to the day, it's going to look pretty nice throughout the afternoon. Let's take a look at those temperatures as they fall into place across the nation now. 108 in Phoenix, 72 for San Francisco this afternoon, 76 in St. Louis, 75 for Detroit, 74 in Minneapolis, and 90 in Brownsville, Texas, 71 in Boston. For us, a cloudy mix to start the day. Showers and thunderstorms late morning on through the afternoon and beyond. 89 degrees is going to feel more like 98. And yeah, we have a north northwesterly wind flow today. We're going to be mostly cloudy tonight, 40% chance of some thunderstorms. Your sunset will be at 750 this evening, and our overnight low is going to be about 76 degrees. Let's take a look at the next six days. Rain chance still up for your Wednesday, 60%. We drop it down to 40, though, beyond that. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks for logging on to HeraldTribune.com.